Hi there! In our video today we're going to be learning about child evacuees from the Second World War and Paddington Bear is here to help us. If we've never met before my name is Yvonne Cadell. I work in the Poppy Scotland Learning Team and we have created some absolutely wonderful resources for VE Day, that's Victory in Europe Day and that's that was 75 years ago this Friday and we've got so many online resources. We've got code breaking activities, quizzes and I'll post a link to our webpage with all of those in the comments. So, um, if, as we're going through, if you learn something new or you like one of the images you see, hit the, the like button or hit the heart button or leave me a comment as well. So, now we're going to go back in time. The Second World War is about to start and the government decides that all children who live in big cities must leave. They must be evacuated from the cities for their own protection. Why? Well, that was because all of the factories that made all the war materials, they were in the city, so they would be targets for planes to, to bomb them. So all of the children had to leave. And um, so they had to leave their home without their parents and go to live by train in a different place. I've got a photograph here taken during the Second World War. You can see long lines of child evacuees. They're being helped by Red Cross nurses. And I think there's a teacher here. Their teachers came with them to, to help. Uh, so to help us learn a little bit more about child evacuees, we are going to take a closer look at this little guy. It's Paddington, he's my co-host. <laughs> Hi Paddington. Hi. Did you know that Michael Bond, who created Paddington, based Paddington's look on the look of a child evacuee from the Second World War? Hmm. Paddington, well, Michael Bond remembers as a child listening to news programmes on the radio describing long lines of child evacuees at the station, carrying their suitcases, wearing their identity labels as they left London. So when we look at Paddington, we can see exactly what a child evacuee looked like. So let's compare. We've got Paddington here and I've got a photograph here of child evacuees. It's a bit closer up. This little boy, he's wearing his jacket and his identity label. Do you know what's written on Paddington's label? Yes, please look after this bear, thank you. Do you know what was written on the child evacuees label? Hmm, well it's a bit similar and I have an example here for you. This is a genuine copy of a label of a child evacuee. She was called Jenny Ronald, she's from Glasgow, and she, looking at the, her date of birth that's on it, she was seven years old when she was evacuated, and she went to Alexandria Parade School. That's still a school today, so if you go to that school, hit the like button and hit the heart button. If you're seven years old, hit the like button and the heart button. So where was Jenny and all the child evacuees going? If we turn Jenny's label around, we can see they were actually off to live in the countryside. Um, so in this label it says she was going to the county of Argyll and the parish was Arisaig. So I've got a, a clearer label for you if that's not so clear. Yeah. So do you think you would have enjoyed being a child evacuee? Would it have been a big adventure somewhere new? Um, or would you have missed your parents? Or if you live in the country at the moment, how would you feel about lots of city kids, like hundreds of them, thousands of them coming to live in your towns? You can let me know in the comments. So now um, we're going to play a little game with Paddington. We're going to pretend Paddington is a child evacuee from the Second World War. I know he's from Peru, but we're going to pretend that he is a child evacuee. And Paddington, we are going to pack your suitcase. Yes, 
What do you think we should put in Paddington's case? Oh, well, Paddington says 20 marmalade sandwiches would be fine for him. Okay, well, mm -hmm. well, actually, Paddington, the government have told me that you're only allowed 18 items in your suitcase and they have told me what they had to be so and they've not included marmalade sandwiches no would you like to see what they are okay um let's see this stuff. oh and here they are <laughs> so these are the items paddington's allowed to take um, and we'll go through them. So here at the top is a flannel. That's a small towel for washing your face, a flannel, and some soap. And, uh, oh, what's this strange object here? Do you recognize it? Well, it's actually the same as this. It was a gas mask. So this is a picture of a standard gas mask, and you see, oh, they're still, they still look, look, they still look cute, don't they? These little, little children, and but they're all wearing their gas mask because if the enemy was to drop poisonous gas from the sky, then you only had seconds to put on your gas mask to protect you. But it looks a wee bit, I don't know, it's a bit scary, isn't it? Would you like to put that over your face? How would you feel? Well, some kids were scared to put that over their face. Well, that's understandable, isn't it? So Disney, yay, Disney came up with an idea of creating a gas mask that had the face of Mickey Mouse. So that would help children not be scared. He looks friendly, doesn't he? Would you wear a Mickey Mouse gas mask? Yeah, probably. Hi, everyone. I can see all your comments. So, um, so we've given Paddington a Mickey Mouse gas mask. Next in his suitcase we have a toothbrush and a comb for brushing his lots of hair. And down here, so this is everything that you might use on your face or your hair at the top. And then just down uh, one, we've got everything you might wear on uh, the top half of your body. So you've got a vest, jumper, pyjamas, shirt and handkerchief and then down below what you might wear your bottom half you've got slippers, shoes, socks, trousers, pants, toys, identity card you had to take that with you all the time and some family photographs. Yeah so we're going to play a game to help you learn what's in Paddington's suitcase and also boost your memory skills. It's called Kim's Game. Maybe you've played it at parties. Uh, so we're going to have a go. The idea is I'm going to give you about a minute to try and memorise all of the items in Paddington's case and maybe where they are positioned. And then I'm going to cover the items and I'm going to remove one. So I'll cover them and then remove one and then I'd like you to tell me what item is missing. Okay? Yeah? All right, we'll go. Let's go.
Okay, so now I'm going to remove an item from Paddington's case. And can you tell me which item is missing? Oh, it's not a toy. No, thank you for your comment, Rachel. <laughs> It was the socks. If you got socks, well done. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel, didn't mean to say, uh, uh, point you out there, but um, your comment came up, so that was great. So the socks were missing. Was that difficult or was it, was it quite hard? So one way we can learn lists of words is to put them into a song. Mm -hmm. And uh, to help you and Paddington learn what's inside his suitcase, I've created a little song and it's to the tune of Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes. So maybe you'll know that too. And I'll sing it for you. And it goes like this. Flannel, soap, gas, mask, toothbrush and a comb. Flannel, soap, gas, mask, toothbrush and a comb. Best jumper, jammy shirt and handkerchief These are all in Paddington's case Paddington's case Slippers, shoes, socks, trousers, pants and a toy Slippers, shoes, socks, trousers, pants and a toy A dentity card, family photographs That's everything in Paddington's case Paddington's case Okay, so we're going to learn uh, the Paddington Case song and I'll take you through it. So, as you say, to the tune of head, shoulders, knees and toes. And so if we start at the top line, we've got, uh, so instead of head, shoulders, knees and toes, you say, Flannel, soap, gas, mask, a toothbrush and a comb. We try that. Flannel, soap, gas, mask, a toothbrush and a comb. All right, and then we repeat that, so we would do that line two times. So we'll say, flannel, soap, gas, mask, a toothbrush and a comb. Flannel, soap, gas, mask, a toothbrush and a comb. Okay? Yeah? We'll do it again. All right. Flannel, soap, gas, mask, a toothbrush and a comb. Flannel, soap, gas, mask, a toothbrush and a comb. Yeah? Okay, so on to the, the next line. We've got best jumper, jammy shirt, and handkerchief. Best jumper, jammy shirt, and handkerchief. Okay, we'll do that line once, one time. And then we say the line, the, these are all in Paddington's case. So, these are all in Paddington's case, Paddington's case. All right, if you've got an adult with you, maybe they can write down the words as I'm singing them, uh, if that's a help to you, but we'll continue on. And so down here, last line, you've got slippers, shoes, socks, trousers, pants, and a toy. Let me do that two times. Slippers, shoes, socks, trousers, pants, and a toy. Okay, we'll try it again. <laughs> Slippers, shoes, socks, trousers, pants, and a toy. Slippers, shoes, socks, trousers, pants, and a toy. And then we'll go on to these two. We do them once. A dentity card, family photographs. And the final line is, that's everything in Paddington's case. All right, so that's everything in Paddington's case. Paddington's case. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so we'll have a go at singing it with the music, all right? Just a bit of fun and it'll help you remember all of these items, I'm very sure. Okay? And I'll tell you when to start. Flannel, soap, gas, mask, a toothbrush and a comb. Flannel, soap, gas, mask, a toothbrush and a comb. Best jumper, jammy shirt and handkerchief these are all in Paddington's case Paddington's case slippers, shoes, socks, trousers, pants and a toy slippers, shoes, socks, trousers, pants and a toy a dentity 
Kentucky Fried Family Photographs. That's everything in Paddington's case. Paddington's case. Okay, so whew, hopefully that's helped you remember lots of things in Paddington's case and it's helped us maybe play our Kim's game another time. What do you think? So let's have another go at playing Kim's game. I'm going to let you have a look at the items and then now I'm going to remove a different item so all the items are there and I'll remove one item again from the case and we'll see if you can all remember it. Okay, so I'll give you this time 30 seconds to memorize where they are in the position and then I'm going to cover them and then take one away. All right, let's go. Okay, give you a wee bit extra time there. So now I'm going to cover them again and then I'm going to remove one item, okay? Okay, so um, the item's gone. See if you can tell me what's missing. If you can put it in the comments, that'd be great. And then I can see um, if our, our memories have just all been completely boosted. Just wait and see if I can see any comments. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what was missing. Did you get it? It was the shirt. The shirt was missing. If you got that one, well done. So we'll keep that out and we'll play again, okay? So I'll give you some time to look at the object. I'll give you less time. This time I'll give you about uh, 20 seconds. And... Then I'll remove another item, but I'll keep the shirt out, the shirt staying out, okay? Three, two, one, go. Okay, we'll stop there and now I'm going to remove another object. Let me see if you can tell me what it is. Yeah, aha, uh -huh, sorry, are you, you're all seeing it, maybe it was the toy, it was the toy. <laughs> it was the shirt last time, it's a toy this time. Okay, okay, so um, so that is a game that you can play um, at home. You can replay the video and play it again, or you can recreate the game with other objects if you want. But what we would really love, and as a task to take away, if maybe you'll replay the video and maybe try and learn Paddington's song, and post us a video of you singing uh, Paddington's song perfectly from memory. That would be absolutely fabulous. We'd love to receive your videos. And uh, just to say thank you for joining us today. We are here as part of our celebrations for VE Day. And that's Victory in Europe Day. And as I said at the start, that was a day when all of the fighting in Europe during the Second World War ended. We're going to have lots of events happening, virtual events happening on our uh, Pop Scotland social media sites, so please check them out. Um, so just to say thank you all for coming. VE Day was a special day, it was the day when soldiers and child evacuees could return home. Okay, so it's bye from me, bye from Paddington, bye.
Oh, just to say, I'll post links to everything we've done in the comments. Okay, I'm just reading there. All right, bye.